In the upper keys, you'll find a treasure that's located on a side street just off of the old highway in downtown Isle Morada. Now, this is known as the Morada Arts and Cultural District. It's anchored by five art galleries along with a number of restaurants that bring a unique culinary arts to the area. It's a real treat for both tourists and locals alike. Dick, thank you for being with Tom and I this morning. Thank you, Jenna. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And now you are the executive director of the Murata Arts and Cultural District. So why don't you start by giving our viewers a little history about the organization? All right. We have a short history. We're only 19 months old now. Uh, our venture started by a couple of our people in what is now the district standing around in the road talking about the potential of that area, the fact that we already had several galleries, some gourmet restaurants, uh, just a real opportunity to form an art district and it came clearer and clearer to us that uh, we just needed to get to work on it. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, uh, we formed a, a vision, uh, I guess a combined vision and shared it with businesses on the old highway and sold it to them, pitched it to them and mm -hmm. told them that if they participated we think we could uh, increase our business draw more people to the area and provide uh, a place for uh, for artists to uh, to do their thing in Isla Mirada and in the Upper Keys. Okay. Dick, when we're going to Isla Mirada or through Isla Mirada, what should we look for? Well, if you're looking for a landmark, um, I guess probably the most well-known landmark would be Worldwide Sportsman. We're, okay. we're right across from them. Right across. I know exactly People know where, where Pierre's is. restaurant is. I know where the full moon party is. That's mm -hmm. the area we're in. Okay. Um, and we have designated uh, that half mile of Old Highway, basically between the Green Turtle Restaurant and the Hurricane Monument, mm -hmm. uh, as, as our art district. And oh, then we have a little go. side road, that, per that perpendicular uh, to that road, that used to be called Industrial Road. We mm -hmm. pet petitioned the village to change the name to Murata Way because nobody wants <laughs> an art district on Industrial Road. You know? Right, so, right, okay. Uh, I guess not. And, and they were kind enough to change the name for us. Mm -hmm. Good. Now tell us about some of the art represented there. Well, we have, uh, we have a really uh, wide selection there. We have the Red Bone Gallery, which is probably the largest marine uh, uh, gallery in, in Florida. I mean, mm -hmm. they, have, they have an amazing selection of almost all marine art. Uh, we have my wife's gallery, which is Gallery Murata, which is an American craft gallery. It's, uh, it, she carries artists from all over the country, uh, mainly what we call three-dimensional work, craft work, and, and some artwork. And we have uh, Pasta Pantaleo, who is a, a local artist who does also marine art, just uh, extraordinary art, and Pasta is a very popular and successful artist down here. We have a potter, Blue Water Potters. And we have a little, uh, I guess you'd call it a cooperative gallery that uh, was sort of built after we opened our art district, and that's our jewel. We, we love that one. That's uh, really eclectic. People love to go in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. And then the restaurants, too. The restaurants, uh, they're some of the best restaurants uh, in Isla Mirada, and I don't mean to demean any other restaurant. <laughs> we have, we have, have a, a lot of excellent restaurants there, but the ones uh, in our district, uh, obviously Mirada Bay and Pierre's, Mm -hmm. uh, which are both well known. We have the Green Turtle Inn, which is uh, a very old, iconic uh, landmark down there. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Kayo, which is a sushi restaurant. We have Ma's Fish Camp, which is more uh, locals uh, restaurant, very popular place. And we have a new place called Chef Michael's, which mm -hmm. has become the rage. Oh, I've of, heard of them. Yeah, I've heard yeah. What kind of restaurant that? is it? Uh, Chef Michael does a little bit of everything. I think every restaurant down there specializes in seafood. I think mm -hmm. that's people's expectation is to right. have excellent seafood. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and mm -hmm. Chef Michael is. Uh, all of these people are wonderful partners for our district. Mm -hmm. They're very much behind what we're trying to accomplish, and uh, and enthusiastic. Wonderful. And now very let's good. talk about the walk that you do the third Thursday of every month. Okay. The third Thursday is I would have to say our signature <laughs> event. That's the that's the event that has drawn the most attention to our district. Uh, that was an idea uh, of my uh, business friend, uh, Pasta, who thought that we lacked uh, nightlife in okay. Isla Mirada, and we mm -hmm. do. I mean, they, if we had sidewalks, they would roll them up at about 6 o'clock. Since we don't have them, <laughs> they just close everything. Mm -hmm. So it was his idea to, to have the galleries uh, open uh, during the evening, hire a band, uh, 
bring more artists in. Uh, it's sort of a, it's become a street festival, almost mm -hmm. a, a street party. We have performing artists there. Uh, we have the street art with the spray cans going on. We have mm -hmm. kids participating. It's a, it's an interactive kind of exciting, fluid, moving night. Mm -hmm. And uh, sounds like a really good night. You oh, can make a, a night yeah. of it and have a really good time. You can mm -hmm. walk around, drink a glass of wine, mm -hmm. uh, enjoy art of every type. Uh, it's become uh, very much a, sh a social thing. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, people, uh, same people almost every month, they, they look forward to coming and mm -hmm. uh, we try to keep new artists, new work uh, in and out of there, hire new bands. Uh, we mm -hmm. have as many, sometimes as many as three bands at, at once. Yeah. And we've drawn as many as 2,000 people to, wow. to one of these things, which is about 40% of Isla Mirada's population. Right. So. Right. Well, the third Thursday is coming up, so everybody, hopefully everybody can make their way mm -hmm. out to the Mirada Arts and Cultural District, which is located just off of the old highway in Isla Mirada. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being on the show and sharing all of this with and our Dick, viewers. It's a pleasure to meet you, my friend. Thank yes, you both. Wonderful Thanks meeting for having you. Me. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be right back after these messages, so please stay with us. Mm -hmm.